Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. Today's going to be a really fun read. I'm using the gorgeous Halloween Oracle cards and we're going to have four cards to choose from and this is going to be what's going on with this relationship, situationship, you know it could be friends with benefit, true connections, ex loves, um, what in the world is going on, people that are just kind of hitting you up on social media, like what's hidden and what do you need to know and we will find out. And again, I want to thank all you guys for your beautiful um, like, subscribe, comments, um, entering the contest. There were so many entries. That was so wonderful. I feel like I'm going to do that a couple times a month. I really love doing that where, um, you know, we just hit a milestone with 35,000 subscribers. So thank you guys. But um, yeah, if you come over and see me on Instagram at sparkrist 11 like probably bi-weekly, I hold contests where I give away, like I custom make a full head to toe um, stoneware for you, necklace, bracelet, ring, tiara, all this stuff. I like to do that. And then I give away decks and all that stuff. So come see me at Sparkrist 11 because I'm trying to um, call through some things. I don't need to accumulate so much. And I feel like once I've received all the messages, learn the books, and I I'm starting to see the same cards over and over, I like to gift them out because I have so many new decks that come in, thanks to my patrons, that um, I like to, you know, not be... Um, repeating myself and some of the messages of that so this way we have fresh messages okay so today we're gonna see what's going on right now okay and we have four cards I want to show you guys this too I'm gonna put this in my store I just finished it and I loved how beefy they looked wire wrapped and just using some different crystals and making a tree on a really nice um, crystal quartz and I like the rose gold so um, um, if you go to my Etsy store which the link is down below these will be available now because I do find that you guys really like the simple wire wrapped crystals so um, I'm going to be adding that for you guys now number one is going to be hearth happiness in our hearts and homes number two jack-o-lantern protection number three is trick-or-treat mischief in play number four is cauldron synergy and healing so I'm going to let you have a look at those and make your choice I like the way the light shoots through the acorn and comes out on the other side. I thought it was really cool. I wanted some kind of moody lighting for this. And we will see what is going on. Okay, we're going to begin with the hearth. Now this card is neat. When it appears, um, you're being asked to look at your idea of what home and family life is to you. To take the time to sort of build up your love fire and have it burn brightly for the relationships, making them a priority, right? And if there's a conflict within the home or family, it's time to take concrete step towards addressing some of these issues for a good, right? You know, if a member of your family is away from home due to travel or work, know that they are being protected and protection is given to them at this time. So don't be worried. Like if, you know, you have a brother or sister away at university, University, if you have a child away at school or traveling that they are protected and um, you know the angels and their spirits and their guides are watching over them and again to not make mountains out of molehills if you have somebody who's kind of acting maladjusted and wants to be difficult those issues can always be worked through when we're not reactionary when we're not harsh and we just kind of take it easy right got to chill out so let's see what's going on with um, our significant others so right now we have dedication self love and focus so these situationships and relationship this significant other is ready for dedication they're ready for um commitment on a on a leveled up kind of notion like there's no more of this get guessing or nobody's trying to hedge their bets or have you like in the wings, you know, they want to be dedicated to you and they're going to start to show this. Um, and another thing, you're going to start to feel a little more self-love and you're going to feel more confident because you are going to become more of their focus. You're very important to them. Sometimes our significant others are people when we're new in a relationship. We really can't devise a kind of schedule because everybody's lives are so up in the air and so all over the place. And there's so much stuff that exists in our day to day that it's hard to kind of pin down a calendar to do things together to spend time so we feel um, are we a priority you know are we important to them and this is where you know big communication has to come in and we have to ask those questions you know so we feel loved and honored and um, like 
we're being celebrated, we're being cared for, and you know, that we're an amazing combination with this person, right? And that's sort of what's gonna happen. There's gonna be this level of commit that makes you feel better. There's also gonna be a revelation and a discovery within this particular um, relationship. It's like an epiphany where all of a sudden they have some major interests. I feel they're spiritual interests that are, uh, that are yet to be uncovered and all of a sudden you're having a conversation and you find out, you know, that they're really into like druidic lore or something like that. And they have an understanding of holistic healing, something like that, that it was not something that they would um, mention earlier and rate and it starts to bloom and it's really cool. And then they feel more bold and they like to talk to you about it because they're big into healing and, you know, a life journey and they're quite intuitive. So they're inspired by these conversations you guys are going to have together. And it's going to be quite bonding, which is nice because sometimes, you know, people feel like they're the only ones thinking a certain way, um, until, and you know, it, some, some kind of opinion is voiced. So I'm going to take out all right, so I'm going to take these out because I wanted to use these tarot. I'm going to be using the wonderful um, cards that I used yesterday, Tarot of the Celtic Fairies, which um, I had an outside reading yesterday, and I used them, and I absolutely loved them. So let me see. I like to fan them out and then get kind of a feel. So let's see what else is going on. So we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, this is this is like they're they're love cup is going to be really expressive, really overflowing. You, and the thing is, they're going to stand up for you guys as a couple. They're going to stand up against their relatives that want to command their time. Wow, this is fantastic. All right, let me start from the beginning and take a breath. Firstly, you're going to become a priority. This, The ace of wands is like, forget it. Everybody else get out of the way. This is somebody that I, a relationship in person, I want to nurture and grow with and commit with. And um, it's going to have a lot of... Um, laughter and honesty and dedication and you know hot hot passionate um times together just really a high affection all of that and before I feel like you might have felt a little bit of a barrier and what it was is this person need to step up and defend their time away from other people that was being taken away from you so you know if you felt they were being rather standoffish not really texting not really showing up as much as you wanted they're going to do that now because the queen of cups is all about elevation in every sense of the word taking accountability being there um having real achievements, feeling bold, standing up, exuding this charisma, um, committed intention, um, great exploration within, you know, each other's feelings for one another. So you're going to really, really go in depth and find out a lot about each other. And, you know, this is really emboldened passion. I mean, to a huge degree and committed love, but they needed that seven of wands moment where there was like, everybody just step back. This is my life. This is the, my person. This is, I don't want this to be like this fly by only see them every once in a while text. And then when you get together, of course you have this heightened passion, but you're wondering, you know, is there a commitment that's going to be involved with this? And they're definitely Definitely is now they've moved to the Queen of Cups. And when you get into the um, the Regal Court cards, and especially in the Cups, that's really wanting to be committing, really feeling a bond, really feeling a healthy, higher connection. And sometimes we just have to establish with others, back the hell off. This is my person. I'm going to do it my way. So beautiful energy, Group One. I love that for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below. Thank you guys for all your beautiful likes and comments. I'm like just so blown away by them. I love that energy for you. Yeah. Stepping up. This person just stepping up and ready to commit and say, you know what? You're worth my time. You're worth my energy in a huge, huge way. So I love that. So now we're going to go on to group two, jack-o'-lantern and protection. Let's see what that's about. I just want to have a quick peek at. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay. So this card comes up and it says that you are protected as well as capable of creating the life that you want. You know that the universe is supporting you right now and the jack-o'-lantern shines your pathway with a bright light. So you also need to remember your boundaries and it's important to teach people how to treat us, right? And when this card comes up, it's saying, make sure if the, the boundaries aren't established, that we establish them. And if the other ones were pushed back a little bit, that we reinforce them and have them be a little more enhanced. Cause sometimes we forget, right? And uh, sometimes takers will 
you know, people that take or they feel entitled, they'll create these little passages and pathways and they'll try to get around things. Usually it's through sympathy and empathetic people will, will give, 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 but all of a sudden you have to be wise to that. I have a few people, you know, that they're very attention seeking and they can drop me a million emails or this and that and that, or they'll just come over and DM me and they'll literally write like a 10 page thing and be like, Oh, could you just tell me about this? And could you tell me about that? I'm like, yeah, if I had two hours, but this is also my paid work. I, um, unfortunately I can't resolve every issue you've had in your life. And I realize some people that are younger don't quite understand how this, this works, but it's like just one of those things where if you've done a favor in the past, all of a sudden they're like, Oh, the floodgates are open. You have to reinforce those and let people know where you stand with that. So let's see what's going on in your um, situationship. So, Oh, this is so nice. So soul can recognition, family and kinship. This, this person you're involved with right now, they're all of a sudden recognizing the fact that you are a kindred spirit. You are someone who's very similar to them. You, they're someone that they feel like can build a life and a future with you, that you have this kind of lovely camaraderie and lightness. You don't take life so, life so seriously. You like to laugh. You like to joke around. You know, you have a, you have a really giving personality and a, you know, I feel like that they feel like you're their lucky penny and you raise their vibration and you make them feel good and you make them feel that anything is possible. And I feel like more and more happy times are coming along, more commitment. I feel like this season is about um, creating more time for each other, establishing what's important, knowing that you're, um, you're meant for one another. See, I love this rituals. You're going to start to create rituals together and traditions because it's the holiday season over here, you know, with, um, Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas, since this is, you know, this is where you really figure things out, who gets invited to whose home. And, you know, you're going to be in that picture because to them, you're already established in their heart and they want to introduce you Oftentimes it's the hardest when we have the seeds and the new beginnings, right? Like where do we fit in the, the grid, right? Everything's kind of like fresh. So you, it's like a new project. You have to realize how you delegate time, right? Balance, making good decisions in the relationship, making each other feel included. And you're going to feel that more and more. You're going to feel like, you know, you're, you're part of the extended family, that you're, that you're someone of import, that you're someone, they're putting your needs out there. So let's see what's going on whoops, as I flip this back over. Okay. So we have the page of pentacles. So you'll be getting a message too. This is the three of swords. Now they are getting over a past heartbreak. So they have a little bit of trust issues and you're probably realizing that, um, a little bit of skepticism when it comes to relationships, you might hear a little bit of, um, critical, critical words and stuff. And almost like, um, Every once in a while, they might be talking about an ex and you're not particularly loving that factor. But what they're trying to do is establish whether or not that's something that you jive with, you know, a behavior or whatever. They're looking for reactions in this. They also want to let you know when they're talking about this ex or this person, how it created heart, heart, heartache as well as some anguish. So, you know, that they're sensitive. It's their way of relaying the sensitivity to having their heart broken. It, you know, it's a once bitten, twice shy, that that's why they seem a little reticent for commitment. They're just letting you know that. However, that's going to change quite quickly with this beautiful ace. Um, both of this is super grounding energy. They're starting to feel safer. So they're going to go about life in a new way, this powerful way. Ace of Pentacles is about, you know, them feeling really abundant and enriched having you in their life. That's very important. When somebody feels like they're in a safe space and they can talk to you about anything and they feel like, you know, um, you kind of revive their hope and love. You revive their hope in humanity and how beautiful and loving people can be, how warm, because I feel like you're very giving. You stand up for yourself. You create a kind of stable environment for them where they feel that they're ready for success and they're getting more satisfaction out of life. So there's going to be more and more time spent together, more and more grounded, committed energy to that too. And they're going to do little gestures. I feel like this is a beautiful time you know, this is like when all the holidays come up. So they're going to establish that continuation of wanting to be with you and carving out time and letting other people know, you know, this is my special person. So patience right now, they're doing some planning. They're doing some surprise things for you as well, which is really nice. So I love that. And the overall energy is nine of pentacles. You have pentacles like crazy. So the nines are great because they're like something that you're working towards an achievement. You're trying to get to that 10, which is, you know, like success, the pinnacle. So they're willing to put in the work to show you the effort. Um, one of those things that they are trustworthy, that they have integrity, that they have your best interests at heart and that you matter to them. And they're going to keep establishing these, um, 
gestures of love to you and it's going to make you feel really good and it's going to make you feel like you're in a safe space and like they're healing and the aces is all about the refresh button right we're not living in the past we're not too far in the future we're like shazam a bolt of lightning right beautiful energy group too i love that for you if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and comment down below you know if you find new connections a little bit frightening and it's hard to kind of um you know it's uncharted water you don't know um what could cause somebody could trigger somebody right in a relationship you don't know what um could seem like a funny joke to you could be something that they take um seriously or there could be a problem a lot of people feel like they're on eggshells um they have to be on their best behavior stuff like that and some people are like take me or leave me that's how it goes you know what i mean so comment down below that if you're one of those people that right away you're like i don't care i'm not playing any games take me or leave me or if you feel like you have to kind of be on your uh your polished behavior for a while for the first i feel like it's the first three months experts say that people really um put their best foot forward they make a uh, a really really concerted effort to you know a lots of times not swear their eating habits and manners are very refined um those type of things it's really kind of cute it's like you're not going to pick up your plate and shovel in your fettuccine right yeah do you remember the days of like oh my god i can't eat that in front of them when you first made them like ribs or something like that it's so funny two excellent i love that for you guys so now we're on to number three Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you need a private read or anything, thank you to all my regulars and my patrons. You guys are the best. Now we're in a trick or treat. So this card is great because it's saying it's time to examine the role you play when it comes to fun and having mischief in your own life. And you know, you don't have to be a child to let go and have playtime and extend fun to others because it's very contagious. Being silly and being light is very contagious, right? That's why I always love babysitting like three to like like eight-year-olds because they want to know everything everything is great and fantastic and beautiful butterflies nature all of that right and they just they feel their way around they discover things it's really wonderful and it's play is also a way we can alleviate all the pressures that sometimes you know get placed on us and to get everything done you know and to just perfect things but there is a balance between manipulation and mischief the former is not pleasant and the other is a sense of kind of reverent fun right like lots of times people when they hear mischief it's like i'm um, damaging something but it's not about that it's about being silly you know it's like when you put bubble wrap on someone's chair or something fun like that so let's see what's going on whoa whoa and whoa you guys i can't even imagine what the hell is going on here holy smokes oh wow so this person, obviously, that that we're discussing and thinking about, you have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. This is going to turn in all of a sudden. This is alchemy. This is magic. This is a combination of two souls exchanging energy on a really super high vibration. This is like soulmate connection energy. So if you've been feeling really strongly like, well, please don't let me be the only person feeling this. I almost feel like, I, what would I do without them? Like you almost feel panicked. You, you feel like it's too good to be true. All of a sudden, it's like you have fear of loss because it's so wonderful. It's one of those things where it's like, you've got this, you know what? Just thank the universe right away. Have gratitude, get ready to move into this phase where you're like, okay, you know, this was brought to me for a reason. I shouldn't have fear, but it's often like that t thing too, where all of a sudden we get a really great job. Doesn't that little thing like poke into you? Like, what if this went away? We think that with all things that come to us and we really, um, they're a gift, right? It brings wealth to our family. It brings us um, fire. It makes us, you know, feel like we have this help from the divine, all of that. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It is what it is. And this particular group, I feel like you guys are having your soul matches. New people that are coming in, if you're not established in a relationship in the next couple months, if you're having, if you have this group, you're going to feel this Shazam moment of life, love, giving, help, opportunities, great security and money and work, feeling great, surprise presence, all this new lease on life, all of that. It's this, it's this love connection, your vibration just raising exponentially. It's because you're due this long and happy life with this individual who was meant from you since, you know, the inception of your relationship. You probably spent, spent decades and decades together in past lives. That's why you feel this connection so wholeheartedly. Happiness is coming to you, a lot of gifts and inspiration. This is just a time of absolute abundance. So 
just say thank you have gratitude and more is coming i feel like it is your time it is a huge karmic reward for you i feel like lots of times in your life you've probably worked more than one job you worked very very hard um you you know sometimes you're like i can't do this it's so exhausting you know or you've gone a long ex long expanse of time all alone and you felt the loneliness and you felt the grief and all of a sudden you just all of a sudden feel like all these presents and gifts are coming you feel really good heaviness is leaving you there's no illness you feel secure in your future you start to feel like um your highest and best self and great anticipation and that's why this is your person this is your match and that's all that has to be said it is your person your special one so the universe is looking out for you so beautiful energy group three whoa that is awesome these three together the two and ace of cups i want to show you this too he looks like the teacup in in bell you know that sort of thing look at the little stars around him and the sun coming up little benevolent cauldron i love that and yeah i love these celtic fairy cards and then look at him with the magician he's he's fixing some boots and doing some work and he's got his little thing the fairies holding the light for him you just feel good you're taking um joy and simple pleasures you know you guys will just be going on nature walks having great cups of coffee and tea together long beautiful talks about everything spirituality life where you want to go how how you're feeling creative all of that so beautiful beautiful energy group three if you're new to my channel welcome please comment if you chose this group because this is like out of this world wonderful for you i'm very very excited um don't forget to press like and subscribe all my links are down below if you need a private read and you want to follow up with all the small details the whens the why the why fours and everything else i'll be happy to help you all. and i should mention at the beginning of my videos when i um, except private reads. I finish them within 48 hours. I don't like do them in seven or 14 days. I do them right as I receive them. So I have, you know, the overturn and they get back too quickly because that's when the energy is the most powerful, like right when you connect with something and then you connect with me. So I do it right away. So that's you guys. Woo. That is some substantial, substantial energy right there. So now we're on to number four, which is cauldron synergy and healing. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys right now, you're getting over something. Maybe, you know, the blues, a little um, anguish, a little um, heartache, um, maybe um, a little of, a bout of anxiety and low self-confidence. But right now, this card comes up because this combines a variety of techniques and elements that you're going to fuse together to get the best results. It's saying, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Really, really... Um, start to diversify right refuse to have one single kind of like rigid pathway instead implement a variety of ways and different things that you can enjoy and experience life right now and create different things the the cauldron is deeply transformational it's about things change once they're put under pressure right resilience is being cultivated over time and this means you're going to have be able to be highly flexible and adaptable to what's what's going on you know you're not going to go oh oh forget that i'm not even going to try it so talking about this person in this situation ship this is lovely so they're going to create this excitement in your life you're also going to go on a trip i feel like within the next three months they're going to ask you to come meet their family or going on a go on a trip maybe a little cruise go somewhere together with them experience time away from your normal habitat with them and you're gonna have this kind of frenzied great energy because it's going to be celebratory you know it's the season of fun right now and also there that you provide them with a sense of vitality health and energy you're kind of like there I feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of spiritual knowledge and you're kind of like a fun guru to them like that you understand a lot of holistic approaches you understand deep breathing yoga all of these things that help and are beneficial to them also you have a good grip on emotional intelligence and psychology of things and you're happy to help them in a lot of ways you're going to be helping them get through work issues family issues and other things like that just really you know um, be the person that helps them come to grips with a lot of things whoa I love this deck so much the colors are so vibrant and fun I gotta shuffle them shuffle 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 all right let's see what's going on and it's funny because this is brand new and I only used it once I don't even know what they are till I put the cards down and really hone in on them because the images the writing is so small and it doesn't like that right away I thought that was a queen but it's like everything is so small so okay you have the queen of wands so right away they see you as like the pinnacle of passion 
of love of everything they've been searching for like you're their ideal you're you know, their absolute ideal you're passionate you're strong you're fiery you have all this but this is double queens so also having the queen of earth means you're also grounded sensible and responsible and they absolutely love that. like they see you as just the top of the tops like they can't believe their absolute luck and scoring you like you are the creme de la creme to them and look you're the ten of cups to them you are what makes them happy you are what makes them feel good and again i feel because you do diversify you do do things that are flexible you're not rigid you're not judgmental and it makes them feel really good you're one of like i read this saying this morning and i think this is so true to this and it's saying you know life is a gorgeous journey and no one is ahead of you no one's behind you you're not more advanced or less enlightened you're exactly where you need to be and it's not a contest right it's a way for all of us to be teachers and also be students and you have that beautiful quality about you where you accept everything and everyone you're like so what uh, okay sarah sarah i don't care if you have documentation that says you're a b or c that doesn't matter who cares about these labels certifications and garbage it's how you treat people it's what you do it's what you show me as a person in your soul and they are astounded by that natural organic beauty that you exude to them and you are an absolute keeper and they're going to show it more and more their passion their commitment to you in a really big way so i love that energy for you whoa that is really gorgeous group four i love that if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe yeah double queens is so good that means they'll treat you well you know they're going to cherish you lots of little presents and surprises and if you guys need any kind of um further information on this all my links are down below for private reads my etsy store for these great um crystals everything i have so much healing jewelry and all my rings and all my goodies and i have some halloween stuff up there too i think as well so yeah again if you guys are curious about the deck that i used today the colors are so great it's tarot of the celtic fairies and it's just amazing like the artwork is absolutely astounding like, don't you love the look at the symbolism the colors everything's very rich and beautiful love it so love and light to you guys i'm very excited so i'm gonna go upload